You can even determine what that is by measuring the others and measuring probability. But only by probabilities. All right? This correlating many copies on the same thing is what's really called measurement. Because when we measure something, we're able to make records and write it down somewhere else, somewhere else, so that if we wanted to get the answer, we can look at the writing. So making a copy is analogous to making a record. I could play around with these boxes and throw them away, and I still find out what, I th what this one would have was by measuring this, well, any one of the boxes. They'll all agree still, the ones that are still left. So this copying process, in this particular case, a copying process which sustains the correlation in, in hole number one, or well, button number one, is called measuring what the result of one is. And the measurement of one precludes a perfect correlation in two. It insists, if you've made such a thing, that number two has three quarters of the time green and one quarter of the time red. It's saying the same thing again. Instead of making the same button measurement on the same box all the time, just making many copies. Yes? How would you just go always use box number one as the first button you push because then there's the uh, possible confusion between the box label? The location of it and the fact that it was the first button you pushed. Oh, I see. Oh, you mean using one, two, and three, I push button one, you might be confused with whether it's the first button I pushed. In time, you mean? First in time or first on the box. Well, I'm sorry that I made that error. We could have called the buttons a PQR or something. It would have been better. That are correlated on two different lines is a statement. We can't make measurement of the two different quantities simultaneously. That's the uncertainty principle. OK? I just want to compare making a measurement with these copies. You say, what has that got to do with it? What's the, what's the matter with pushing this button and looking at the light? Pushing the button and looking at the light really was making copies. Because a light, a real physical large bulb, puts photons out in all directions. You looking at the bulb can see it's red. And I'm standing over here. I can also see it's red. He can see it's red. He can see it's red. Everybody can see it's red. That's an example of the correlation. It doesn't make any difference which box you look at. Which photons? Over there, or over there, or over there? They're always the same. That's this kind of correlation. So what we used to talk about crudely is pushing a button and reading, looking at a bulb was really a mechanism for making this type of correlated copy. OK? That's the same thing. And the laws of interaction of, of, of matter permit us to make such copies, uh, but of, do not permit us to make copies by which we can determine what the, make a correlation that works both for the first button and the second button perfectly. We can make it perfect for the first button, but only 3 quarters perfect for the second button. Now, mind you, there's a, there is a correlation in the second button. It just isn't perfect. The first button is all agree, but the second button, they don't all agree, but three quarters of it, you know, it's more likely to agree than not. OK? That's what I meant. Three, it's more likely to agree with each other than not. Yeah, I said it right. Yeah. yeah, it's getting better, right? Good, we're getting somewhere. Now, if you had an observer, 